How's it going guys? Welcome to another episode of Zenobutton. Today we're going to be opening up one pack of the two new expan expansion sets, Piccolo and Goku. So Iris is going to be starting off with the Goku. Mm -hmm. So let's get started. How do I want this? Okay. to the packs first just because everyone knows what's in it. What's in it. They just jump up to the last one. Sure. And... Ooh. Okay. An SR. That's not bad. I saw it. It was red. Mm -hmm. Nope, yellow. Oh, oh my god. god! This is our third Vegeta Secret Rare. Holy. <laughs> I actually I, I picked this one. Usually Iris picks the packs, but uh, I went today and I just randomly picked this. Wow, this oh is actually god. insane. We might okay. as well solve the other one. We have two right now before this, so right now we have three then. But wow, I can't <laughs> I told them we were gonna get another one. He was like, no, people will be angry at us. But yeah, people will actually be angry at us. I don't even have a sleeve. <laughs> That's how much I wasn't expecting. That's actually I I pretty have, funny. Like, but alright, so that was the third pack? Yeah, that was oh the third pack. God, I told you we'll get another one. He's like, no, we we'll won't get another one. I don't even have sleeves in here. <laughs> alright, whatever. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll figure it out later, but let me at least put it in the binder. Keep but it safe. Let's jump to the new An energy exhaust activate main for one yell energy if your leader card is yellow and you place this card from your hand in your drop era draw one card and choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards ignoring barrier and they get minus 5,000 power for the duration of the turn um it's okay yeah, it's, it's only minus 5,000 so Ooh, we got the almighty resistance so that's the battering laser which is oh. really cool oh we didn't get the foil leader yeah yeah i mean would you rather get the foil leader or the seeker? <laughs> um, one drop Goku. Three drop Vegeta. More of the Gohan and Vidal. Are you not gonna read what they do? Okay. I don't even know what the Vegeta does. Really? Yeah, what does he do? You said really and you don't even know what he does. <laughs> I think everyone knows at this point. Okay, so Critical plays this card in its owner's drop area. Choose up to one red or yellow Sun Goku card with energy cost of two in your hand or drop air and play it. For three energy though, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of underwhelming. The, the, this Goku is cool, the one where basically if you attack a card and it has 25k power or less and you like ditch this card when you attack, like you automatically kill it. Yeah, 25,000 so, power or less. So this is going to be super good in uh, Yamcha mm -hmm. where they can attack active mode. And then I guess this is another like Bulma target because it's um, Goten. Um, energy exhaust, counterplay. And then the battle card being played is played in rest mode. Then play this card. Okay. It's like Chomp out a trickster, but Chomp out a trickster, trickster obviously better. It draws you a card. Um, Plus, this doesn't get around deflect. Yeah, it doesn't get around deflect. And this is the battering laser for red yellow. Okay. Alright, so which foils do we got? We got the Gohan. Gohan and the battering laser, which is actually. Yeah, the battering laser one's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, 
moving on to pickle. All right, so <laughs> we got another uh, seeker. <laughs> maybe we'll get <laughs> maybe we'll get baby Janemba or the the balls. It's funny we literally got three Vegeta seekers. We never got the balls or Janemba seeker. Which I'm not gonna complain about because they're worth. Uh, the Vegeta one is worth way more money. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, got the pickle of foil leader. This is what this is all I freaking cared about. <laughs> Um, I'll go into I'll go into these cards later, but uh, I'm a huge Piccolo fan, so I'm glad they're giving finally a good Piccolo leader. Um, I already got a bunch of foil cards, and I'll actually show you. I have the sleeves already set up over sleeve that are Piccolo themed, which is pretty sick. So I'll just flip through these. We all know these cards. Nothing crazy. Ooh, Ooh okay. I think we have that already, yeah. but. Foil leader never hurts to have. And this guy is actually really cool with uh, the cards that are in uh, this expansion set um, that like help with re uh, revive and all that. So mm -hmm. um, I definitely want to give that the uh, revive dude to try. Because he's just a pretty solid card and now with like some new support. All right, nothing too crazy. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what what what, should, what did we expect, honestly? It's like, yeah, I mean, we honestly, that. we already quadrupled, eight tupled, <laughs> whatever you want to say. Eight tupled. <laughs> Octatupled the price, and oh, yeah, okay. all right. Yeah, it's not bad. Damn, these are like six really good packs. A uh, super rare, no, two super rares, two super a seeker rare, a foil leader. That is honestly like zero complaints on the packs. Oh, I, I wasn't I wasn't expecting anything, <laughs> expecting a single thing from the packs. Um, I'm super happy about this foil pickle leader. This is really the only foil like I sometimes don't. Well, most of the time I don't really care. Every once in a while I like foiling a deck out, but leader card is like the one card where like you can't you, know, you can't mess. But just kind of going through this leader. Um, Basically, on the front, um, everyone knows, you look at the top card, um, and if you want to put it on the top, you leave it on the top, or you put it on the bottom, and then you draw one card. Which is really cool, because you essentially, if you go first, you can still draw a card. Then he's awake in search, put one blue, one green underneath him, and then he... He's basically an untap one, draw one, except, you know, since you're putting two cards underneath, you draw three. And then, uh, untap one energy. Then on the back, everyone, you know, always talks about it. He's sick with Gogeta because you make them go to three cards and then you warp two of their cards in their hand or you ramp yourself up. Ideally, turn three on your opponent's turn if you want to go and surge, although I would say that's a little too early. You can kind of ramp yourself up and then Gogeta the next turn. So I'm super happy. I'm actually going to be putting this foil leader in a foil leader, I mean, in a leader case right afterwards. <laughs> Uh, this Kaioken Goku is, is more the support I was talking about with the leader. He's revive, blue, green, and uh, you KO this card as the cost, and then when one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of six or less attacks, negate the attack. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty sick. You can just basically use it as a negate, get the draw to revive off the leader, and then he comes back in active mode. So, really cool support. Here's the non-foil leader, garbage. Heavy Crick Krillin, if your leader card is blue and there's a multicolored card in your energy, when you combo this card, it gets plus 5k power for the duration of this range. So these are pretty cool. I think the car, the cards that are like this that draw you a card are a little bit better, but you know, the Krillin is definitely not bad. Then it's the Roshi Kamehameha Origins. Uh, if your leader card is green and you send this card from your drop area to your warp, choose one green extra card in your drop area, add it to your hand. So that's actually pretty cool for like cycling through negates and stuff. And it works with this Piccolo leader because he's blue and green. So, uh, yeah, this is cool. Like whatever extra card, you, I don't know which ones you would necessarily need that are, cause it has to be green. Yeah. So maybe you can grab a uh, preemptive strike or you could grab uh, this dude hidden potential. But this Dr. Wheelow is also more support for the Kaioken dude, uh, the Kaioken leader. Cause he's a blocker. And then when he's placed in your drop area from your hand by an opponent's skill or by your revive skill, you may play this card. So. If you run revive, this dude's super easy to just, you know, get this Goku out, negate an attack, draw two cards, and then for the revive skill, you play this, now you get a 15k blocker on board. Like, that's just like a super insane ability. And if your opponent plays hand destruction, you know, you have an answer to it. You're like, oh, I'll drop a card, and then you just get a free blocker from it. So, definitely not bad. Definitely not bad at all. And then this hidden potential is basically like a better preemptive strike. Um, your leader card needs to be green. 
If the battle card being played has an energy cost of four or less, it is placed in its owner's drop area instead of being played. Then choose up to one of your blue or green energy and switch it to active mode. So like literally, yeah, the only disadvantage to this over a preemptive strike is that you need a blue energy. But literally, if you have a blue energy, this is better in every single way just because you can untap an energy. So mm. tap two for this to stop a play, then you still have one energy up for dimension magic or you know if you want to run preemptive strike, although dimension magic's like a lot better. It's kind of like a combination attack, but this is a counterplay. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit. I mean, combination attack is, they're different enough where they're both equally good like i wouldn't necessarily say one is better i mean yeah. this one's just nice because you can essentially stop one of your opponent's plays for one energy mm -hmm. but uh those are the cards um this was pretty insane uh i literally all i was hoping to get was this piccolo leader foiled we're gonna be playing uh in the actual tournament we just bought these uh, randomly we didn't get the tps with them um tomorrow there's gonna be a tournament with the tps mm -hmm. uh I don't know which cards I actually want to get. I don't know. Do you know what you want to get? I want to get the Broly one drop. The Broly one drop, the one that looks at the opponent's hand, which yeah. is incredibly annoying. Which is probably, it's like 40 bucks right now, I think. For yeah, it's, it's at some absurd price. And then <laughs> um, hopefully, because um, we'll be getting one, we'll be getting two of each again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we can get the Goku leader foil, but those don't seem to be super expensive anyway. And so. hopefully we get a baby Jenna with we'll Secret Rare. Uh, oh, <laughs> I think we pulled, I already, I actually bought a Baby Janemba Seeker Rare at this point, so I, I'm, you know, whatever. I, I'm, it's insane we got three of the uh, Vegeta <laughs> SS4. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Sorry there's a little bit of a delay. Uh, like, work schedule changed this week a little bit, so, um, but we'll get back to doing consistent videos. I know I promised doing a budget deck video. I have the decks planned. I just need to, and I have, like, the profiles set up and everything. I just need to film the video, so... It's nighttime right now, so hopefully I'll try to get on that tomorrow or sometime throughout the week. And more battles coming up too. Yeah, and definitely more battles. Um, probably an Android 18, because I have almost have that whole deck foiled out. And then um, I oh, think the Broly U6. Broly U6. Mm, Goku Surge and Piccolo Surge. Yeah, I think we'll try to do a Surge battle. Yeah. I think that'll be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, uh, once again, thanks guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to press that Zeno button.